Hello and welcome friends. Today I'm going to tell you my top five favourite places for where to get stage clothes. So if you're a performer, you're in a band, you're going to need some clothes that you can wear while you're gigging and doing photo shoots and things like that. When I could say it first started, I had no idea where to get the kind of clothes that I wanted to wear on stage and I would type where to get stage clothes from. Nobody was answering the question. So with my experience and a lot of trial and error, I thought now would be the right time for me to make a video telling my top five favorite places to get stage clothes and hopefully I can help you in your stage clothes quest. So let's get down to business. Number five is the high street. Now it might seem obvious I'm saying that, but it is worth repeating because the high street is the easiest, most accessible place for you to get something cool for your stage look. I mean, think how often you walk past high street stores. Here are two of my favorite high street purchases. First up is this satin bomber, which I got from H&M. I wore this on tour a couple of years ago. And this, which is literally one of my favorite jackets ever, that I've ever, ever bought, this sparkly number which I got from none other than River Island and it is a purchase I have never once regretted. It's convenient, it's reliable, don't forget the high street. Number four, your parents' wardrobe. Now I'm lucky because both my parents are quite stylish so it's very easy for me to find things that I like. For example, this 90s bad boy which is rad and it has a gold shiny collar and the houndstooth has rainbow sparkly bits in it. Here's another one. Even if you think your parents aren't super fashion-y, check out what they've got, you might be surprised. Number three, alternative and independent designers. Somewhere like Outbox, for example, they have a lot of funky designs. I got this dress, which I love, uh, from a label called Mad But Magic. <sighs> I mean, this is my dream dress right here. Number two, vintage shops. Vintage shops are the best because there are so many of them and all of the shops contain such a variety of clothes. I got this lovely dress from Rocket, really nice, love the cool like, detailing. This is a jacket that my dad actually picked up for me from a vintage store, velvet with sparkly bits, really nice patterns. I wore this on tour as well. Fun fact, this jacket used to belong to another musician in the 70s. I don't know who it was, but they donated it to shop, so it lives on with me. Pro tip. If you happen to be visiting another country, always give yourself a little bit of time so you can check out a couple of vintage stores. Number one is do it yourself. DIY is my absolute favorite because you can either make something totally from scratch or get something from a shop and then customize it and you've got a totally unique item of clothing to you. For example, here's a couple of simple things I did with t-shirts. This t-shirt with the icon as Madonna, I got from Camden Market and I cut the neck off and cut down the middle at the back and basically put a bit of thread, zigzagged it across all the way down. It looks really good. A little while back we did a gig HMV, a special one-off thing um, with Cartoon Network for Adventure Time and we were given Adventure Time t-shirts to wear but I decided that I wanted to make it a little bit different. I took an old dress and cut it up and just put some side panels in and also a bit, a bit at the bottom as well. I want to show you one other thing. This is not actually a thing that I have ever worn on stage because it's an evening dress, but it is the most favorite thing I've ever made to date. This is my 1920s princess dress. It took quite a while, but I really love this. So doing it yourself, just think out of the box. Spray paint, ribbon, pins, netting. Next time you're at a local craft store or fabric place, just see what they've got. So that's it for my top five places of where to get stage clothes from. I hope you found some of that useful. I'll put links in the description. And if you have any questions, just write a comment here or speak to us on Instagram, at Rikasir. Thanks for watching, see you later.